tutorial showing you how to create a rubric so you can easily apply mark schemes when marking assignments from your students. First open the assignments tab and then click create to create your assignment. If you want more detail on how to create an assignment please check out that video but this one's specifically on rubrics. So within create new assignment click add rubric. You will then be able to view rubrics you've already created for other classes. If you want to select one of these, simply click on the title. In this case, we're going to make a new one, so click on New Rubric. You then need to give it a title. Try to make this as meaningful as possible in case you then want to go and use it for multiple classes. For example, English Mark Skin. You can choose to alter these headings across the top, or if you want to add additional ones, you can do so by clicking the plus button. This is particularly helpful if you've got different categories that are very similar, but there's keywords that change. In that case, write it out once and then click this button up here to duplicate it. This means you only have to change those keywords around rather than rewriting the entire thing over and over again. Enter your criteria in each box. If you want to add additional rows, then click plus and you can add as many rows as you want. Once you've finished, click attach and it'll attach it to your assignment. When you then go to mark the assignment, you'll be able to see this rubric attached. In their work, you will now be able to see rubric listed underneath their work. To view the rubric, you can either click on it, which will open it here, and then select the option that you wish. Select the option and enter any additional feedback you want to give the student. Once you've done this, click done. It may look like it's completely disappeared, but when you click return, it will still return that feedback to the student. Enter any additional feedback you want to separate from the rubric in that box there and then click return. The student will then receive the feedback from both the rubric and the feedback you've entered in the box. Thank you.